Do you find yourself struggling in the sand where you've really got to stop the ball very quickly? So I'm facing a shot here where the flag is cut very close to me. I've got a lip to go over, I've got lots of sand and I definitely don't want to go long with the River Trent behind me. Today's video is really going to help you make sure you can stop that ball quicker out of the bunkers. Stay tuned for more info. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video, as I mentioned in the intro, is all going to be about bunker play. So I'm actually going to be facing a shot here where I've got quite a lot of sand underneath me. I've short-sighted myself, so I've got a very narrow part of the green here. This 15th green par three, it's a very long green from front to back, but it's a very narrow green. So I've got only really around uh, eight, 10 paces of green at this top tier, and I don't want to be going long uh, with the water over the back here. So this is a tricky shot where we've got to be able to get the ball up and stop the ball quite quickly. Now I find a lot of uh, members here, so I won't be naming any names, are trying to chip the ball out of the bunker. They're trying to sort of clip the ball quite cleanly. And you might be able to play that, especially when the sand is very hard, very compact, if the lip isn't too high. But you just get a few grains of sand first and you're leaving that ball short in the bunker. So I really want you to be playing this as a proper bunker shot. We've got a lip, we've got lots of sand, we want to stop it quickly. I want you to be hitting the sand, splashing the sand out to get that ball to stop. And yes, it does take some commitment because we're making a much longer swing than the length of shot we've got. But remember, this is the one shot in golf we've got a margin for error. So most of the time we're trying to take that ball perfectly before we hit the turf. Whereas in the bunker, we're trying to hit the sand before the ball. And although we're aiming for around two inches, five centimeters behind the golf ball, the reality is if we use the club correctly, and you'll have heard a bit about the bounce of the golf club, if we use that part of the golf club correctly, we can get away with anywhere really from one to five inches behind the golf ball. So we've got a margin of error. Very quickly, what is the bounce of the golf club? I have talked about it in other videos, but if you're new to my channel, uh, quickly go through that for you. It's just that the sole of the golf club, the lower edge is further away than the leading edge. So it actually tilts, it sits backwards a little bit. You're designed or it's designed that you actually hit the trail edge before you hit the leading edge to stop that club digging. So it creates more of a gliding, sliding type of motion. While we're on the subject, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you do enjoy the content, make sure you hit the thumbs up as well. It really helps me out. So. Let's get into this. What am I going to do? I'm just going to be today talking more about the handle position to make sure that we're utilizing the loft on the golf club and also the bounce of the golf club. So making sure that we do use that bottom edge. So my club here, it's a 58 degree and it's got 10 degrees of bounce on it, but I can increase that bounce quite a lot with my handle position. So on a shot this short, I've only got less than 10 yards to the flag. I want to stop the ball quite quickly. So I'm actually going to be adding loft to the face. If you're not comfortable with that, fine. Maybe start with the club face straighter, but do the two other things I'm going to mention with your handle position. If you are comfortable enough to open the face, do. Open the face before you grip it and really get that club face pointing so the loft is more up towards the sky. It's going to increase the loft and increase the bounce. And that's a really good thing when there's this much sand underneath you. The other things, I'm gonna to touch the sand here just to make it a little easier for your viewing. So we're aiming for about two inches, but I know that I've actually got a margin of error. I'm not gonna to go too much into the rest of the setup, only to say that I would play the ball nearer my lead foot, so closer to my target side. For me, that is my left heel. And I do want my pressure, my weight more over my lead side. So I'm trying to feel like my sternum is closer to the golf ball or that line two inches behind that ball there. I don't want it too far back behind the golf ball. So set yourself more over the top of the golf ball here. But the other changes I'm gonna make with the handle is I'm gonna make sure I actually move that handle backwards. And that's a weird thing. So when we actually have our pressure forwards and I ask players to move their handle back, it does feel very strange, but it really helps. So move that handle back so the end of the grip is more towards your belly button. And the other thing I'm gonna do here is just try and lower my hands a little bit. So I try and drop my handle down a little bit lower. 
by dropping the handle a little lower, again, it will help me maintain the loft on the golf club and the bounce on the golf club. And it actually will create a slightly more rounded, shallower swing. So a shallow swing just means that club is low to the ground for longer. So we're getting the club moving on a lower arc where we've got almost a larger flat zone. We can get away with that contact being that little bit too far back. If we create a very steep vertical swing that people often think they're trying to do in a bunker, we're gonna be digging, 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 and that strike point has to be pinpoint perfect. So I'd much prefer to see a shallower, more rounded swing, and by lowering the handle, that's gonna help you do it. So there are three things there with the, the sort of club face and handle position. One was increase the loft on the club if you're comfortable with doing that. Try it in practice first if you haven't already. So opening that club face before you'd grip it. The other thing you're gonna do is actually move that handle back, but without moving your weight back. So I want your pressure, your weight still to be favoring your lead foot, but move your handle back. And I'm gonna lower my hands also. That's gonna help me create a more rounded, flatter swing, keep that loft, keep that bounce on the golf club. Let's see if I can give this a go. So, I'm opening the club face. My pressure is forwards, but my handle is back, and I'm gonna lower my hands down so I really keep that loft on the golf club. Nice committed golf swing now. I'd definitely take that, we are around uh, eight to 12 inches away from the hole. My strike point was very good, but I've got a margin of error there. It doesn't have to be pinpoint perfect, but I did get a very good strike point, which means I definitely had my pressure onto my lead side. A lot of people are striking too far back, so if they tried that line in the sand drill, they would see they're striking way back from that because their pressure is back. They haven't got enough onto their lead side. So it is important to have that pressure forwards but move that handle back. We don't want to create shaft lean. If we do create shaft lean, let me finish with a, what we don't want to see. Aiming for two inches. If I get my hands forwards, I've got no loft on the golf club here, my hands are high and I start digging here, we tend to leave the ball, when there's this much sand, we tend to leave the ball in the bunker. The next one might well be a compensation. Try and pick it cleanly or do something and thin the ball over the back. Use the golf club, use the loft on the golf club, the bounce on the golf club, and it's definitely gonna help your bunker play. As mentioned, if this video has helped, make sure you hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. Cheers guys, we'll see you soon.